Hi, and welcome back to The Secret Life of Parkinson's. I'm Jessica Krauser, and I'm here with Brian Baker and with Melissa Carlson. Hello. 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 How is everybody doing? Hi, Brian. Oh, Melissa, it's so great to see you. It's so wonderful to be across the table from you again. I know. You guys went to New York without me and everything. Yes, and that's what we're talking about today. Oh, yay. Did you... (laughs) Show a little emotion, maybe? Yes. Oh, good. Yes. He's just a little bitter. He wasn't there. Just a little. I can't shake with that hand. <laughs> I can't funny shake how you with can't, that hand either. Isn't it funny you shake, but you can't shake? Yeah. Well, you can't, like... <laughs> Consistent. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe it's the bell. We're going to say it. Sure. <laughs> totally the bell. So, um, me and Melissa and Steve and a bunch of others all went to New York again for... Oh, I should have brought my little award. Oh, shoot. We went, did I? I think I told you that. Well, we went to the Michael J. Fox um, Team Fox MVP event. Mm -hmm. And um, this year, the 5K for JK, our nonprofit, was recognized. Yay. Yay. Good job. I know. It was so exciting. It was very much a surprise. Yes, it was a big surprise. Yeah. So I got this nice little glass. Heavy. Yeah. Try to put in my backpack to go home, but <laughs> like um, but that was very exciting, and it was for the again the five k for JK nonprofit that we founded um, for the money that we raised mm-hmm. for Team Fox over the past two years, which was upwards um, to two hundred thousand dollars. But so this year we raised a hundred thousand dollars for Team Fox, or last year, I mean. Guess what the highest amount was for one Team Fox group? A million. It was a million five? Four or five, yeah. yeah. 1.5 million from one year. One, you got big shoes to fill. I know. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're, we're going to have a meeting with them <laughs> to understand more. <laughs> but yeah, isn't that brain. amazing? It is amazing. Like one group. It's incredible. Um, and then obviously all of that money is what filters into um, to do research. Mm-hmm. And they've been doing research for 20 years. A billion dollars, I think, worth of, of yep. um, funds have been supported. And we had amazing news, and everybody already knows the news about the biomarker mm-hmm. because that's now been pu- pu- published. But there were three things that we learned about. Okay, what so were we're going to... What were those three things? We're going to educate you. I will appreciate that. I need some education. <laughs> so education. number one, biomarker. Mm-hmm. Done. Um, so... The biomarker was the big thing, but they kind of downplayed it because it wasn't. It wasn't announced. It yet. wasn't announced just yet, um, but it is a big deal. And so, tell me about this biomarker. Sure, I love the question. <laughs> um, there's actually there's a great article because a lot of people said, "Well, what does this really even mean for me?" Because you're always big with that. You're like. That's great. Is it going to change my life today? You know? Yeah, yeah that's me. So is it going to change your life today? No. no. Is it going to change, care. but is it going to change <laughs> researchers' lives and clinical trials' lives, or not lives, clinical trial studies? Yes. Mm-hmm. So that's what having this biomarker is really going to be helpful for so that they can better assess and do clinical trials, do the research. So it, it's, it's what they need to make then drugs hopefully come to the market faster because mm-hmm. they never had that starting point. Yeah. Good news. Do you have any other questions? Is that <laughs> it? <laughs> no, but I mean, is that is that part of like the biomarker study that we were participating in by getting the, the DNA testing or whatever? Well, the, the no. So that? this this was, you had to get like a um, spinal so, tap. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they took spinal fluid. The, so the test... If you want the test done, it can be done. It's not covered by insurance. um, And you have to be able to do a spinal tap, which not many people, I think, want to do. So they're still going to be working on um, creating similar tests for blood or for skin or for nasal swabs. So they they need to get there. And that will help be a part of a test, I think, in the future, along with your overall assessment from from a doctor. Mm -hmm. Um, But for right now, what this does is it just, it's... um, it really provides a huge insight. Actually, this is one thing I did want to read. You know how we've talked about cancer patients? You don't say like somebody just has cancer. They either have pancreatic cancer, mm-hmm. breast cancer. 
So we're going to break Parkinson's down into different kinds. Of Potentially. So this said, um, this this article from the Michael J. Fox Foundation, they did an interview and it says, if we say Parkinson's, Parkinson's is an apple, now we can start to see the color. Mm. Most might be red, some might be yellow, others are green, and still others are red and green. We treat every apple the same way now, but we may in the future be able to use different, more personalized approaches depending on the color of the apple. I prefer a Granny Smith apple. Of course, because it's sour. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. That was a good one. Uh, um, where's the love? <laughs> but so I thought that that was actually, that was really good. So more to come on that. Um, do you want to talk about the swallow thing? Yeah, that about? was really cool. So it was from a dermatologist. Um, Which is interesting. Like, I know. Because he kept saying that. That was like his first thing. He's like, so I'm a dermatologist. And they were, and were really like, funny. They were really so funny, funny researchers. Not, yeah. So they were not ear, nose, and throat doctors. No, he would, he's a dermatologist yeah. by trade. And um, he is developing or developed a little... He calls it the Adam, right? The A D A M. Because I was now thinking, I just got it. Yeah, the Adam's yeah. apple. Adam's apple. Huh. So it's a you device. Just got that goes that? I just did. Oh I'm my god! Sorry, but I think it stands for something. It it does, but I'm sure it has, it has to, to do, do with, with the Adam's apple. apple. But anyway, but anyway, so it goes a, like right here, and it gives a little vibration when people need to swallow, because like people with Parkinson's, you know, with the drooling and stuff, tend to not swallow mm -hmm. as frequently as they should and so it's kind of a gentle little reminder so um, if they have swallowing issues or um, if they um, drool or whatever they can get that what are you laughing at nothing and the thing is that the 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 cool thing was normally with devices you have to have your phone mm -hmm. and like some sort of bluetooth like enable thing this doesn't have any of that which i still don't know. gotta walk around with a big dot on your no, it's 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 white. It's white. It's soft. And they, but and it's waterproof. Because someone mm -hmm. asked, like, can I do I have to take it off to shower? And it goes for like what a week before you have to yeah it was charge it. It was a long time, and there was no, yeah no technology associated with it. But and the people that have the issues that they do, they're like they they had no problem with wearing it in public. Mm -mm. Not really. Yeah. Yeah. So interesting. So that's interesting, but you know, again, it's still in. Like they're still doing clinical trials, and I think they're going to they're submit more, to the FDA. Is they're more promising than the socks. Well, yeah, the socks. They, they didn't bring that up. <laughs> and I, no so one I think, said a word about it. Well, and that's the thing that I want to ask um, when we have Danielle from the Michael J. Fox Foundation come in and 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 talk on the next podcast is with the biomarker study. Will they go back into some of these other clinical trials that? Didn't, didn't make it far, because yeah. of you know whatever circumstance you know i'm wondering if there's there's things out there that they've studied that maybe they can go back to because mm -hmm. they have this biomarker i don't know that's a good question good question for danielle yeah yeah and, and then heads up danielle yeah <laughs> you've been warned <laughs> <laughs> and then the third one that they shared um was really interesting for me and something we actually talked about when we had um uh, the, you weren't here that time. Uh, the individual from the, um, oh my gosh, N Cleveland no. Clinic. Mm. That's when you were at the Cleveland Clinic. Mm. We had her come on talk about the PPMI study. Mm -hmm. And she brought up the fact that, you know, a researcher in uh, Pennsylvania uh, was doing a test around impulse control, control disorder. And so this guy was actually there, and that's what he shared with us. Wow. Yeah, that was really cool. So what that one is... Um, for those of you who've had a dopamine agonist, were you ever on a dopamine agonist? I can't yes. remember. You were? Mirapex? Mirapex. Okay. So I was on Rapinerol, as um, as some of, you, some of you guys may remember. <laughs> um, but apparently now with this, they can test for impulse control disorder. So without being tested, I can say I probably have impulse control disorder because of the way Rapinerol affected me. Not me. You didn't have you it? didn't have any of that. No, I'm sure I did, but no. <laughs> you, yeah. But um, but now they can test for it before they ever put you on a dopamine agonist. I think I still have it. I just <laughs> just not any. I can't believe I'm on my medication now. <laughs> okay, that's for another topic. Next, <laughs> yeah. No, but no, but it's, it's really interesting, and I because the thing is, they said like the reason why this is so important, and I totally get it, is. 
you know, for me, it affected, I was I had an impulse control disorder with work or with just being on the computer or whatever. A lot of other people have it with shopping and gambling to the point where mm. it like destroys their mm. family. Mm -hmm. I know you gamble already, but like it destroys their it's family. It's legal they, in Ohio now. Do you, did you lose your life savings? Like if mm. that, or do we have a problem that we need to like maybe intervene? I'm okay. working on it though. But, but those are a lot of situations that right. are very serious that mm -hmm. people have to deal with. And you know, they said we've heard people have, you know, gotten divorced or had, you know, family issues because of what this drug was doing to them mm -hmm. and they couldn't get off. Not that they couldn't get off. I don't think people put two and two together. They didn't sometimes. Think right. Exactly. So all really good stuff. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Yeah, it was very exciting. Anything else that we uh, learned? So did, how was the overall trip? Did everybody enjoy themselves? We yeah. stayed at a beautiful hotel. Everything was right there. We, we met look some up. great people. We met some amazing people. Oh, I met somebody for you, <laughs> but it's a guy. Um, uh, I guess there's something you need to tell me. No, so there's this. There was a couple that was there, and they they approached um, they approached us after the research, and I think just talking about the podcast, talking about the the five k and the money we raised, stuff like that. And he's around your age. Um, he had the DBS done, mm -hmm. and I told him like maybe you and Brian should start. Like a young onset group, like I have my young yeah. onset. Yeah, group. Yeah, we can get the group so, text. Yeah, yeah, so group chat, like, hey, I'm really cranked feeling? up today. <laughs> I'm really cranked up. Today. Well, so instead of instead of sending me that text, you can send that. So you to tired of my text? No, I'm kidding. I'm, no, I got the. But hand. anyways, no, I thought I mean, it's, <laughs> it's always good to meet the it people is. that are there. It's 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 incredible because you know you're all there for the same reason. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we forgot the movie. Oh my gosh! Still. So the documentary that they did on Michael J. Fox called Still, mm -hmm. awesome. Awesome. I had so, no idea what to expect, and I was, I, I was kind of nervous because Derek was with us, and mm -hmm. I'm like, I just, I don't want him to like go to a bad place again. And I, I, before we even went in there, I was like, remember, Michael J. Fox has had this for over thirty over years. Thirty years. Yeah. I've only had it for four. You know, we've we've got time, and there's other things, you know, other things happening. But it, he, they just did such a great job. Right. And that's going to be streaming in a couple Apple. weeks. Like, yeah. yeah, Apple TV Plus, like May 12th or 16th. So we're going to have a, we're we're a, have a watch party. party. Oh, yes. Yeah. At, at yeah. The gym. I can't wait. But that's all we have. We should mention about the PPMI, too, how much that's um, been. Oh, that was the reason why the everything. Everything, yeah. So, and it's not too late. It's not too late. They're so going to keep the BP. B B PPMI study going for as long as they possibly can because what what it is now is a, like a longevity mm -hmm. type of research study and that's where all the researchers like they need information they pull from this database of research so if you're um, if you hear about it and you have the ability to do it go do it because it's mm -hmm. every Anybody little bit is gonna it. Yep. yeah it's gonna continue to help yeah good call out thank you all right I'm wrapping this up okay I'm cutting you off um. I don't really have a 30 seconds for this one. Okay. So Goodbye. Yeah. No. <laughs> but no, thank you again for joining and, uh, and check us out next time. Have a great day.